Here we are to graph uh, a system of inequalities, 2x plus 3y greater than 18, and 3x minus y less than 20. So I'm going to rewrite the first e inequality as 3y is greater than negative 2x plus 18, which gives y is greater than negative two-thirds x plus six. And the opposite of y is less than negative three x plus 20, or y is greater than three x minus. 20. So we're going to be graphing points on these two lines, um, thinking about the equality instead of the inequality. Um, and first of all, let's choose the line tool. And so for x, I could choose 0, 6 as a point on the first line, and also 3, 4. So let me choose, and I'll write these in, type these in. So the ordered pair 0, 6, and the ordered pair 3, 4. So there is our first line, and this time the boundary is not going to be included. And so I'm going to go over and select dash there. Similarly, for the second line, y equals 3x minus 20, we could have the point 0, 20, 0 negative 20, which is on this grid, and the point 20 thirds 0. So, choosing the line tool, I'm going to put in 0, negative 20, and also 20 thirds, 0. And then choose dash for that as well. And now looking at the inequalities, we're looking for the region that is e above both of these lines. And so will be this section that gets shaded. We can test that out. Let's try using 0, 10 as a test case. So then 10 would be greater than negative 2 thirds times 0, which is 0, plus 6, and 10 
would be greater than 0 minus 20. So the test value does, does work. Now this time in WebAssign, we have an additional question, which is find the coordinates of the vertex of this solution set. Now the vertex is not included this time since the boundaries are not included. And so to get the vertex, we could set the two equations equal to each other, or inequalities, the right-hand side of those two inequalities equal to each other. And what I would have is negative two-thirds x plus six equals three x minus twenty multiplying by three I would get negative two x plus 18 equals 9x minus 60, 11x equals 78, And so x equals 78 over 11. Which is 7 and 1 11th, sorry. Now, if I put that into the first equation, I would get then y equals 3 times 78 over 11 minus 20 and I would get Three times seventy eight is two thirty four and eleven times twenty is two twenty. So fourteen over eleven. as the y value. So entering those values here, I would get 78 over 11, comma, 14 over 11. And that looks like about um, the values that, and be careful, I entered a decimal instead of a division there in the 14 over 11. The last question that WebAssign is asking here is whether this is bounded, and it is not bounded since um, uh, the values uh, increase um, uh, the y values that will be part of this solution. So there is no bound on the top of this region. 
So the solution set is not bounded. 